Hello and welcome to another Yuki Joe video. Today we are joined with three powerful Geist players, the Bobes Boys. Uh, all three of these players managed to top Jake's Broken Code tournament that occurred recently, but more importantly, two of these players made it to the finals of the Remote Duel Invitational Qualifier that <laughs> took place this last weekend, also with Geist. So uh, tell us a bit about the deck, guys. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm Owen, um, and I came first with Geist, and um, also there's Steven who came second. So it was both of us in the final, um, which is really cool. We're both on the same team playing Geist. Same match, same tokens. Yeah. <laughs> True mirror match. Same. Really good mirror match to watch. Check it out on Farfa's stream. Uh, yeah, so I'll go right to that list. Uh, so the main, I think the Geist card's like really similar, like it's been the same for like ages. Uh, free Mario, free Melee Seek, free Faker, two Silk, one Conk. Um, only time it changes is if you play like the Mystic Mind variant where you play like two Mario, well I do anyway. Um, but I think like this is really standard. I don't think you really need Mystic Mind right now. No, yeah. Like, like, oh, I mean, it was, it was fine. Yeah, so obviously we, we like tech cards in the main deck there's like six or so spots you can probably like flex on um so instead of misty man we decided on rivalry for this event uh, which is really good i think rivalry in the main deck is insane um with like tri brigade virtual world prank kids it hits almost every deck in some sort of way yeah exactly even like like omni type decks when you like do like a link play they can lock themselves into like um fiends with nightmares um uh, locking them into fiends is really good um, yeah, when nice. I played against Adam Emancipator, he summoned Appaloosa, so that when I flipped Driver, he's, like couldn't summon anything for until I outed the Appaloosa. Yeah, so he's just locked into fairies when he can't play rocks, so uh, the guys can't yeah. really, really standard. It's good in everything other than the mirror match. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then last monsters we play is Free Ash. Uh, we play six hand traps total, so Free Ash, Free Imperm. Um, I but think you didn't like... really feel like you needed many more. It wasn't no. like a combo heavy format. Uh, obviously, Imperm's insane with Imperm Faker, and Ash hits everything. Um, it's just really nice. And you can side more hand traps for when you go in second. Yeah, exactly, definitely. Um, Something is much more. We used to play like Bell, um, but I don't think it was needed for the main deck right now. Uh, I played Free Axtrav. Uh, Steven played Free Axtrav and a Duality. Um, I think it was fine, Free Axtrav. I didn't really miss the Duality. I don't know what your thoughts on Duality were, Steven. Yeah, so I basically put in to replace the third rivalry because Owen stole one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> locals. I needed it, bro. Um, but I think it was good. Like, um, just the, this is just a standard. Um, like, the fourth pot does come up sometimes just for extra consistency, but it's not needed. Um, obviously, we, but we're both top playing basically the same main deck. Um, so it, it, it's really situational. Like, it doesn't make it much difference. And then for traps. Uh, the guys, so free spoofing. This is definitely mandatory at free. Uh, two protocol. This is also mandatory. And then one manifestation. Um, I don't know. The, the ratio is very correct. So if you yeah, you never need that, to set yeah. a manifestation if you play it right. Yeah. Hey, like, add it back or. Right, yeah, recycle you can it, keep recycling this with like silk. Um, I think like the only like benefit of playing two is like the benefit of the graveyard effect so you can banish add proto or add like another money but it doesn't really come up like silks just we have to like manage your resource correct is like really like integral being like play the deck really well um so one is fine i've never needed a second really enough yeah right. same yeah and then free torrential i think like the best trap in the game right now along with like strike like torrential is insane for every matchup it's good going second as well. Like, that's why you don't need extra hand traps when you have stuff like torrential and strike. Yeah, the deck's like one of the best control decks for going second with like the traps it plays. Like setting torrential into a board, um, as soon as you make another play, or you can force another play out yourself with like um, trigger and faker. Um, so that's really nice. Um, I think it's just all around insane trap card. Are you the deck not... is deceptively strong going second. Yeah. Are you normally just hitting one or two with torrential? Um, it depends really. So like. If, like, playing into a board, um, setting this, their turn, as soon as make another summon, you're torrentialing. Mm -hmm. But it really depends on what they've got, how you, like, judge the situation. Um, so usually you're 
hit them to range before they hit in a gate up if you're they're playing into your board or before they like can you clear your threat so if you got like a silk and a faker with like a protocol you want a torrential before they can get away to threaten what you've got so like on a savage summon before they can make against like dragons chaos ruler um just before i get like key points so like because prank kids usually i do it like the normal summon and you've got silk to bounce the extender um, so I don't know if you've got anything Really hard to play like... around as well. Yeah. Like, play into your board. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. There's no, there's no really playing around a board wipe, really. Yeah. It, it's always going to be there. Like, um, if they try and play around it, they're going to hit against another point. Mm -hmm. The only time it's like really weird is Virtual World, because a lot of their effects um, can play around it. But they've always got points where they can get Torrential, just like the Zolkin. Yeah, same in Dry um, Yeah, th there's so many points you can always hit them. And then free rivalry. We talked about this. The card's insane. Uh, thanks, Steven. Um, yeah, it's the best it. deck. Yeah, it, it's really good. It hits like everything. Like when you're against Tri Brigade, if they're locked into one type, um, Beast War is the best to lock them into because all they can summon is like um, double Dragon Lord and stuff, which you've usually got uh, like a strike for. All the Link Free um, or Beast. Beast is really good because all they can summon Bear Broom or whatever the other link to is but yeah rivalry is insane right now and the four flood gate i play uh io it's insane um so yeah just four flood gates insane um they're all just win games uh cow traps free strike free judgment they're insane um not much more to say about them, really. We main judgment just for side space, and um, it's just maining it is just always correct because you take out you go in second, and like it's just really good. I don't I don't see any issue with it in the main deck really. Even going second, it's it hits a lot because it's a, yeah. a bit of a slower format. Yeah, so if they can't like kill your board with what they've got, they have to keep playing. So you can judgment what they summon at that point. Um, yeah, like judgment and access code or something's really crucial. Yeah, That's always really strong. Yeah, so stuff, stuff like that, like, it, it's really nice. Obviously, it's insane going first. It just helps you win. If you see this with like um, access to Faker, you're probably winning game one. Nice. Uh, so main deck, uh, 40 cards. Um, don't if you want to play more really in Geist. It's quite standard. Just want to keep it nice and consistent. Uh, for the side deck, uh, free Veiler. Um, so Veiler's insane. Just more hand traps is always nice. Uh, especially it's like Tri Brigade. It's not good with prank kids, but it's like every other deck Veil is insane against. And you have um, a good prank kid matchup, so you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I have a really good prank matchup with like um, Ryrie Strikes, The Ashes, just everything like that, Silk Bounce. Uh, it's really nice. Um, we overgo with second cards, we play as uh, free Gamma Seal. Um, Gamma Seal's there to like out problem cards like Appaloosa, Dragoon, stuff like that, like Ultmanus. Um, it's the main reason for it. Um, so yeah, I think it's match against Drytron, so... Yeah, Drytron's really, really awkward sometimes. Because yeah, they've always got like Dragoon plus Ultimus or something like that. So Gamma helps you win that matchup really nice. And then... Play two more hand traps. I played the two Bell. Uh, Steven, you played some of them over the Bells, right? Yeah, so I did three somewhat. It's just as like an extra Ford Gate for going first. Like a blowout yeah. against like Tri Brigade and Prank Kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the bell over the weekend because I side it in versus like a uh, tri brigade. In Swiss, I opened Faker evenly bell, so I evenly him. He kept his revolt, so I'm like activate Faker. He changed revolt bell. Now he's got no cards in hand. I've got Faker, uh, Faker Melly seek make uh, Hextia get uh, Mario for protocol, and from there you're just winning. Um, so that was insane. He's just game over at that point. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, four secret village, so three secret village plus a terraforming. Uh, this is the third summon limit in Steven's list. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just wanted the extra way to see it because obviously I wasn't playing summon limit. Um, so, Secret Village is insane. It wins so many games. Uh, putting this up against Prank Kids, you, it's, they've, all their extenders are spell cards. So, bouncing the Norseman wins the game. Uh, it stops like Twisters, Lightning Storms, everything like that is just so good in the format. I honestly think Village is better than like, even Judgment going first. Like it stops so much. Yeah, it's not yeah like Secret Village of Plus Setup is so insane. It just wins so many games. And then the last cards are just a free uh, free release. Um, insane going second, blows over the board. 
Um, you get the Kajugger afterwards. Kajugger is Add it in against like most matchups. Yeah. It's the best guy's trap. <laughs> yeah, it's the best <laughs> Oligos trap. Um, so that's the side deck. And then the extra. The extra's uh, not really that important, it's just. No. Yeah, so our extras are quite, quite different, I think, Steven, but like the main thing is Link 1's Hextia and like, like Selene access code. So, uh, Link 1's double Link Karibo, double Artemis, uh, Anima, Armorage. So, from like the previous list, we used to play one Artemis, but obviously now playing the main deck Rivalries, you always want to be able to activate Rivalry and play under it. So, Melee Seek, yes, yeah, vill cast. Village and Rivalry, it's saying like that. Um, so Artemis is always a spell cast you can make with any Geist. Um, so triggering like Silk Effect to add back or Melee Seek Search for Fakers. And if you um, open Manifestation, you can. Yeah, you can normal Silk Manny. Yeah, yeah, which is really good. The Silk Manny Brick combo. It's great. Yeah, so you used to have to like use like uh, Almirage, but obviously Artemis is insane now. And Anima. It's another spell caster as well, which like I banished all my Artemis in one game. So I had to make this under Rivalry, which is cool, but. If people um, don't play around it like me. Yeah. yeah, the only time I used the effect of Anima the whole weekend was with Steven in the final. Um, so remember to, play, remember to play around um, Anima, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, poor Steven. Uh, Link 2's free Hextia and a Phoenix. Uh, everything like past the Hextia is just flex spots, but free Hextia is mandatory. Only cards you actually summon, really. Um, card's insane. Spell and Trap Negate isn't once per turn, which is insane. Hasn't came up. But if you can get another Geist under it in the turn, like a Conquery, like I did in the uh, semi final, uh, if you had another spell or trap, I could negate that. Um, Phoenix to out, like um, Tikaboos, maybe. It's like other stuff, like use a problem. Um, just generic linking away to trigger like Melee Seek and stuff is nice as well. Uh, Link Freeze, Unicorn, Selene, Ningesu. Um, I just went any of these. I don't know if you summoned any Steven, but. Yeah, I summoned Selene once. It does come up. But yeah, it comes up. Selene as well. Yeah, what'd you, what'd you cut through? Was it like Unicorn or? Yeah, I didn't play Unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, Selene's insane. Usually you make it just for the access code. Uh, but I just won every game with like Hex to your control. Yeah, it's insane. If you're getting to the point where you can make a Link 3, you're probably winning the match anyway. Yeah, most of the time, if I'm like, when I've got stuff to make a Link 3, I just make another Hex to you with like a Hex to you and a monster to yeah. get another search of the Hex. That's usually what I'll do. It's just free um, advantage. Yeah, Ningesu is just there for like out Dragoon. No one summoned it, but Ningesu is there in case you need to. And Unicorn just generic utility for like out and stuff. Uh, two Link Fours, Axis Code, Appaloosa. Um, Apollo's just there. Um, I don't know. Make Celine <laughs> summon back Melee Seek. There's two negates, I guess. I don't know. It's cool. Probably Never gonna win anyway. No, you're probably going to win without Appaloosa, but you know. It'd be the, the second option. access code, ideally, right? Yeah, the yeah, option idea. Uh, um, yeah, I've not got. I, I borrowed my second access code and I couldn't get it, so. Yeah. Access code insane if you make it with Selene. No one expects you to just push and break boards, but if you've got enough to make Selene, and like usually they've got spells in Grave, um, make access code pop up and you just win. Yeah. So, are there yeah, any um, changes that you'd, you'd want to make to the deck? I mean, obviously um, the extra deck can change a little bit. But... Yeah, the extra deck can probably swap around, but it really depends on what we expect for the event. So obviously both me and Steven are going to be at the Invitational. Probably won't play this. Um, but yeah, there's obviously changes you can make with the deck. Um, like main deck staples, like the, the rivalries and stuff. You can swap those for other cards. Uh, but just random like flex swaps like that. So it depends it's on what you're expecting. the side that changes. Yeah. Yeah. It depends what you think the meta is going to be like. The main's pretty perfect. Yeah, I'd agree. Okay, cool. Um, I understand that you guys have got info on your matchups as well. Yeah, do you want to go for yours first? Uh, yeah, I can do. So, uh, so six rounds of Swiss for the main event. Uh, round one I had a Geist Mirror, which was which was cool. Uh, I two owed that. Wasn't round me. Two, it wasn't Steven. Um. I had three Geist Mirrors over the weekend. Really strange. There were only uh, five Geist players in the event. Yeah, the, the conversion rate for Geist was insane. Uh, 60 people, five people entered playing Geist, and three of them topped, which I think is wild. <laughs> um, so it's not like there's like a lot of people playing it, like five. The other um, two are just clueless, uh, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, they got destroyed by me. So, uh, round two against Dragon Link, I 2 out of that. 
Uh, round three versus Adamant to Rocks, 2-1. Uh, game one, I bricked. I went first. There's still been nothing in game game two. Um, I think I feel like Ash, Valor, something. And then like guy stuff. And then game three, I think I'd like evenly, which was nice. Uh, round four versus Trizu, 2-0. It's quite an easy matchup, usually. As long as you're open, like, playable, you're probably going to win. Uh, round 5 versus Prank Kids, 2 0 Dark, which was Jake Quincy. Um, yeah, it's just Prank Kids is quite an easy matchup, usually. Um, like, bouncing the normals, and you just win. Uh, round 6, Trizu. Uh, I lost 1 2 in the final. Uh, it was a strategic loss, so I didn't pair <laughs> versus Steven in top cut, I promise. So, why was it 1 2? Uh, so, I, I, I lost. I, I bricked in game 3. Uh, and then game two, he had like enough stuff just to push through. Like usually okay. like two interactions, so like a negate and a bounce wins. Um, but you're like an extra extender. Uh, so we won game two and I break game three. Yeah, it's a strategic um, break. Strategic break. <laughs> yeah, but I, I break, yeah, I bricked on purpose. So I, I didn't have to play versus Steven in top cut so we could play in the final. Um, so you can thank me for that. Uh, top cut, top eight, I was against another Geist. Uh, I had no idea what he was playing going into top eight. Like I thought he was on like Drytron, um, so when I no when I sit down and he's like yeah normal silk, I'm like oh okay, it's one of those. I guess I'll win then. So I won that two one. I opened no engine game two I think, uh, and then obviously game three I opened okay. So you know it's a skillful mirror. Best player wins. Um, Not top four, <laughs> top four versus uh, virtual world. I won that two one. Uh, if you watch the stream on Farfas. Uh, I had like Secret Village Rivalry game three. It was very depressing to watch, but I kept silk bouncing every turn. It was very fun. Uh, and the finals was a guy's mirror of Steven. Uh, easy clap 2 0. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, sh show who's boss. Uh, but yeah, it was a good game. It was really good. It was a really good finals. Yeah. Made it interesting for the stream. Yeah, definitely. I drove it for yours, Steven. Yeah. So round one, invoke Dogma Shadal. 2-0. Uh, round 2 also played against Adamant's Peter Prankids and I won that 2-0. Round 3 I lost to our teammate Josh playing Trizu 0-2. Uh, just like opens insane. <laughs> Wins Good a die roll so yeah. Typical yeah. Josh Bond. Sick Josh Bond there. <laughs> <laughs> round 4 I won 2 in a Geist Mirror. He made me start game 2 which was pretty weird. I don't think it was the same guy you played either, so it was like... No, it was a different play. guy. It's really weird. I, I think, like, making you start is, like, it's kind of weird. Um, it's definitely... But, like, the guy's cards are really good at going second. So, like, melee seeking evenly. Like, they're insane. So, like, I guess I like, just wanted to bank on that, but, like... He just wanted to it. Yeah, it's risky, isn't it? Just wanted to assert his dominance. Yeah, and then <laughs> Steven all. slaps him down, so... <laughs> that's fine. Round 5, I 2 would Virtual World. And then round 6, I 2 would Dragon Link. It's like pretty good matchups, like combo decks. Yeah. For this. Uh, top 8 was I played Josh, who I lost to in Swiss. I toured him this time. <laughs> Got redemption. Salty Rumba. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I played Trizu again in top 4, which I won 2 1. Won the die roll again, which helps. <laughs> Imperial Lord is a good card. It very much so is. Yeah, the Trizu matchups really in our favour. But like, if you open like subpar and they open exceptional like you're just gonna lose but like if they open okay stream as well yeah if you open okay and they open like okay as well your okay hands better than theirs because you just play free more like the yeah. renbor just loses to so much of your engine it's insane and then the final was against owen how'd that go steven <laughs> amazing oh, <what> <laughs> yeah strategic so our match yeah our match was really well <laughs> like, we i'd put owen win for now. a change yeah, yeah, sure. Because he came third at the Switch event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I felt really. bad for him. <laughs> yeah. We played against a lot of the meta, so like Trizu is what we expect to play against, Prank Kids. Um, Adamant's Pit was a weird one. We both played against that. Didn't really expect it, but it's just a combo deck what we can beat. And then Dragon Link's usually quite hard, but we both 2 0 it, I think, so. Yeah, um, the guy I played was playing Dragoon in it. I basically stopped him every time he like went for that play. Yeah. So he didn't have the Dragon Link stuff, so I just won. I think the Broken Code was about the same, just a lot of Drytron, a lot of Tri Brigade. Yeah, so we all made top 8 of that, Matt came for top 4. Um, that was yeah, a bit was just... different, because we had to play against Eldritch, 
Yeah, yeah it was, it was, on, it was on DB versus yeah. American, so a lot of them were like, like Eldritch and stuff. Um, yeah, so it, both, it was on me and, stream. Yeah, me and Steven both played with us, um, Triff, round one and two, and then Triff dropped after we both beat him. <laughs> which was funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was really good. We've been doing really consistent with all the guys, and it's a really good deck in the meta right now, so definitely something to be uh, scared of. That was the only deck we really struggled against Eldritch. Because he's playing yeah. that Inspector board of Gozen, stuff like that. Ice Dragon's Prison. Mm -hmm. like, it was like anti Geist Eldritch. Yeah, 100% was built to beat Geist because the other son is the best I think deck. We only took like one game off him in between us all. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't play him, but he used to. Did yeah, you? I didn't get to play him, but. I had to beat him, obviously, so. Yeah, of course. Um, are there any shout outs you want to make? Uh, shout out to the team. Obviously, the boys here, the Bose boys. Um, best team in the UK, 100%. Uh, most consistent team. Um, shout out to the sponsor in the check cards on Card Market. Um, shout out to Jara, Josh, Josh. Um, yeah, anything you want to share? Yeah, just everyone we tested with. Matt helped us test with this. All our friends back at uh, locals. Yep. Oh, and a lot of guys near us. A lot of guys near us. <laughs> Uh, so we are going to do a full in-depth discussion of why Geist is destroying this meta and the combined effort that these guys have put together, um, which we'll do in another video coming out very shortly. Thanks very much, guys, for taking us through the list and the uh, recent success, and we'll see you in the next one. Yep, cheers.